Hi, this is Vamshi Dande. Welcome to Graphics Vidya. Okay, guys, uh, how can we create a, uh, a basic heart animation? Okay, suppose if we go for uh, Instagram, like, and you can see so many uh, Instagram options here. Okay, and there is a heart symbol. How can we click this heart symbol and how can we create a basic animation for this heart symbol? Okay, this type of heart symbol, how can we create it? With animation concept, okay, using with Figma. So, first of all, let's take with shapes, okay? And we have a different type of plugins, already I explained in the, uh, like 15, uh, 15 plugins in the previous session, okay? And we have so many animation plugins and so much of AI generated plugins also is there. When you're working with production, they'll get the license of uh, that, uh, uh, plugins okay in, in the production level so how can we convert easily the website into completely into the figma okay directly you can share you can take a link and you can directly import into the figma using with the lotify plugin and we have different type of plugins also but it should be a, some um, like licensed uh, things will be there that you can learn in the production way okay so today we are just showing a small basic animation it's uh, like it's a heart animation uh, with Figma, okay? And come to here. So let's take with the heart symbol. So we have so many plugins, guys. Already explained in the previous session, almost 15 plugins. Let's take with one plugin like it's feather icons, okay? And already if you see the previous videos, how can we download the, uh, this type? How can we run the plugins in the previous video? You can check it, okay? Come to the feather icons, click it here and make it some love symbol, okay? Click it. So already, I'm not taking any frame here, guys. Please check it. I'm not taking any frame here, okay? I'm just taking only the element here, okay? A base element I just taken here, select it, and it is into 24 by 24, okay, good. I just taken one shape here, good, it's nice. And right click, I can ungroup the selection here. Why means if you select this one, and if you want to fill the thing, so, if you want to fill the color means it will almost we can fill the color like red color and please remove the straw so already we have some element here okay one is um, like one is fill okay one is fill and second one uh, one is uh, black and stroke this is a regular i'm just writing a name regular black and white stroke or black stroke this is a, just just explaining you guys okay and this is a large, large red stroke, red fill. Why means when you're clicking here, see this is the basic and clicking it's coming some pop up, some pop up with a some large size. So that's why I just taking with some large red fill. Okay, so select this one, click it this one and make it 32. You understanding guys okay and this is 24 and this is right click just ungroup just remove the frame behind yeah you can select this one element control shift g ungroup control shift g ungroup okay so we have large and we have regular so what about the again regular select this one and make it down to pop up Again, I would like to take the regular size as a fill, red fill. So select this one or otherwise we can take it. This one, I can take it, uh, select this one. I can take it 24 by 24. Okay. So this is regular and this is 32. We have now click it. We have 36, this one. So this is thing. So click it here and make it the same thing here. But it's not a regular fill. Red fill. This is a red stroke. This is the large fill, and this is the regular fill. Take eyedropper and fill it. But I need a fill option, not stroke. You got it. And what about the last thing, guys? Take with the same regular stroke, but I need a little bit small stroke. Small black stroke. So we already 
Sel we just done with four elements here. Four elements. Select this one. It is at twenty seven. Uh, I mean, uh, like twenty seven point five two by twenty four. But I need uh, this one same thing. So it has been filled, and this is the stroke. So these elements we have done. But I need a small one. No, let's take it this one and make it twenty. I need to give twenty. No, I told that is it is a small stroke. So small size black and stroke, red color, red fill, and this one. So now what is the concept, sir? First of all, every element means every element, every container. We have to create a component. Create a component. How can we create a component, guys? There is a shortcut to create a component that is called Control K. Control Alt K. So select this one and Control Alt K. Select this one. And again, Control Alt K. Select this one and Control Alt K. Select this one and Control Alt K. This is only I just explaining. So that's why I have given the names here. That's it. This is not a mandatory. You can delete it. But if you have to understand, so that's why I have given this one. Okay. So select every each element and create a component. So what is component, sir? What is a component? So the components. See here. The components of elements you can reuse across your designs. So we can create a component, and wherever the component we created, again and again we reuse into the our designing project. So they help to create and manage our consistent designs across the projects. You can create a component from any layers or objects you have designed. So these could be a whole range of things like buttons, icons, layouts, and more. So wherever we creating our uh, components, like as a buttons, icons, and layouts, okay, we can reuse our designs with a consistency manner, with a consistency manner across the projects, means complete the projects, okay. So if you want to write it, you can write it this way. It's very better. Yes, understanding. Please note it down this. And write it this one also. The variants. These two are the major, major parts of Figma. Auto layouts, variants, components. These are the major things to Figma. Please write it down as a Figma this one also. So what is variance? Variance introduce a new way to group and organize variants of the same components. Okay. So uh, if if you created some components, you would like to create a group of variant. So just that all the components we are creating one variant. Okay. So that, that that's why what it is what it is says variants introduce a new way to group and organize variants of the same component. Okay, <laughs> so what happened here, guys? Variants introduce a new way to group and group and organize variants of the same component. What happened here? Click it here. These are all the four components. We can select it and combine as a variants. Okay, so now you got it. So this is very important, guys. Means what happening here? We are already selecting the four variants and creating to one way one variant. One variant. So what happened here? Variant introduced a new way to group and organize variants of the same component. So this makes 
components easier to make and more initiative to use. We can use very easily to grouping the components and combine variants into a single component with custom properties and values. Almost when we are selecting the uh, components and creating a variant, we can use the our properties. Okay, so now select this one and make it prototype. So what is main thing here? So just taking a prototype to one to here. So what, here the main concept is here only. The main concept is here only. So on click is going on. Okay. After on click, what should we do? We can create a smart animate. So smart animate, we can give a basic easy and easy out here. Okay. Easy and easy out here, and we are creating means previously easy and easy. We are giving some value, and we are going. But not if we have a custom spring. We have a custom spring, and we can use the spring of the bouncing. The bouncing we need. Okay, the bouncing we need, and I can give the value of the bouncing. Okay, and first of all, on click smart animate, and we are taking the custom spring. So after custom spring, we can give the value. So it's a basic spring value. You now I can give twenty five ms. So that is the first second. It's fine. Okay, it it is very clear. And this is the first thing. On click, it's completed. So first after the second to third. Again, we'd like to take the on click. So always we are taking the on click. So already it has been taken here to here on click, but. Here to here, I am just giving after delay. The next step means we have to wait for one second. Okay, so that's why I am giving one ms. Okay, and here we have a smart animate and the custom we can give how much? The five hundred ms. The smoothness. Okay, the smoothness we are giving here. Okay, after that we can select this one and giving here to again what is the concept? On click. And on click we again the same we have to repeat here from here to here. Okay, what here to here what we have given. So if you click it here, you can check it. See prop uh, on click smart animate twenty five ms. So it should be repeat again here to here. Select it again the on click. So so click here. So here to here no. Here the after delay and here on click on click. Smart animate again. I can give twenty five ms. You can directly, you can directly like this. The spring value you can manage, but I am just giving only twenty five ms. The starting what we have taken from here to here. The starting position again. I am giving to here to here. here. Okay, so it's fine. It's clear. Again, close it. So again, it should be repeat to again to the top of the layer. So again, we have we are hitting in the last love symbol. So the heart symbol. So the heart symbol again, it's moving. So select this one and again click it here and go to the. So already here after the delay, the option is there. So again we have to give the after delay. So after delay again I have to give the one ms. Means after one second it should be start. Okay, and the smart animate and the custom I can give again the five hundred ms the smoothness. So clear this one now. Select this one. So this we done, guys. And go to the assets. We have our component. Guys, you understanding? You understand, no? So already we already created one component. So select this one and make it prototype. One frame. Okay, there is no frame. Sorry, guys. We have to create a frame now. First of all, so to animate, we have to create a frame. So select this one and frame click it and make it prototype, guys. As you understand, so click it here, friends. This is the heart animation we created in Figma. Any doubts? See. Now you can get more thing. The same animation it's repeating. Okay, simple the concept where we are creating the prototype is main 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 topic. The prototype how we create. Sir, how we put that uh, component in uh, local components? 
Uh, when you create here, automatically it will be come to here. No. Yeah. When you selecting here and when you selecting this one and creating a control alt K, then automatically it will come as a. Yeah. It will it will come into our assets. Yes. This is local components. Yes. Clear? Yeah. This concept is clear. So this is art animation. Any doubts on this? Art animation. Okay, fine. So let's take with one more concept. One second, guys. This is Vamshi Tande as a senior graphic and UI UX designer. Please contact 9030-913 and 914 or please visit our institution in Amirpet Friends. Okay.